a 43-year-old cop by the name of Bobby Lubrido from Newport Ritchie, Florida, allegedly sexually assaulted a teenage girl. He got fired as a result of that, but he won't be facing any criminal charges. Let me just reiterate. There is evidence indicating that he exploited a, an underage teenage girl and while he got fired, which is almost impossible to do with a cop in this country, he's not facing any criminal charges because uh, the higher ups have alleged that there's no probable cause, even though there is some evidence. So let's get to the details. I want to break it down. So as I mentioned earlier, this is Bobby Lubrito. He allegedly lifted up the teen's shirt and bra and then proceeded to grope her breasts while she was handcuffed, according to an internal report obtained by Tampa Bay Times, okay, and WTSP. So you're looking at a photo of him. Before we get into how he was reprimanded, here are a few more details on what he did, allegedly. According to a police report, the girl was a juvenile runaway. Uh, the cop here was assigned to transport her between a hospital for medical clearance and the juvenile detention center on July 13th. Now, during the ride, he took her phone away from her and found intimate pictures of her um, uh, dancing and naked. The girl told detectives that Lubrito admitted he was really trying to see what your breasts look like. And uh, he didn't use the word breasts. Uh, he even hit a deer while looking at the pictures on her phone while he was driving. After that, he allegedly tried to bribe her with half a sandwich. Lubrito gave the girl half of his sandwich to eat, but afterward told her that, quote, the sandwich wasn't free, the girl told investigators. Then he started groping her breasts and other parts of her body. Lubrito also allegedly pulled up a photo, a picture of the girl's mother, and asked her if she would want to have a threesome and told the girl that he would come to her house to check up on her, which is freaking terrifying considering what a creep this guy is. Now, after the allegation, um, he ended up getting fired, okay? So he's been with the Newport Ritchie Police Department for more than five years. He's been a cop uh, for over 10 years. Uh, and while he lost his job, they've decided we're not going to file any charges against him. Uh, Newport Ritchie Police Chief Kim Bogart, who initially said the girl's story was unfathomable, told WTSP that he had, quote, had a preponderance of evidence, but I didn't have probable cause to charge Lubrito. OK, so, Jake, I don't know. Maybe I'm misunderstanding how what probable cause is. OK, but if you have evidence how do you then argue there's no probable cause can you explain that to me he said the girl's charges were unfathomable i'm, I'm not sure what he means by that unfathomable as in like unbearable or he just didn't believe her like it could be either interpretation right but it, by the end he certainly believes her and he fires the guy and he has a preponderance of the evidence but he says oh, no, no no charging a cop is a bridge too far i don't have probable cause you can't not have probable cause if you already fired the guy. You were positive that he did it and you fired him. Then by almost by definition, you have probable cause. And by the way, the cop admitted that he was behaving uh, in a way that broke protocol. So Lubrito said he did not believe he did anything immoral or illegal, but he did admit to breaking protocol. What does that mean? What does that mean? And by the way, let's just note, this is important. The reason why it's difficult to fire police in this country is because they have inc an incredibly, they have incredibly powerful representation through the police unions. So for the police union to allow him to get fired, I'm just saying, it doesn't appear to me that we're talking about an innocent individual. And it's one thing for the police chief in this area to say, oh, well, I, 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 we're not going to charge him because, you know, we, we can't, there's no probable cause. I, I'm not buying that for a second, obviously. But what about the prosecutors? I'd like to hear from the prosecutors. What do they think? Yeah, so, Anna, um, I hear from Republicans all the time that they are really worried about child molesters. 
uh, and QAnon talks about it. Almost all the right wingers talk about it. Oh my God, pedophile rings, etc. Um, and I hear that they now don't trust law enforcement uh, because it went after Donald Trump. So all law enforcement is bad. Uh, well, here's a law enforcement guy who is molesting an underage girl. So Republicans, go get him. Nothing. Sound of silence, right? Because they don't actually care about any of those issues. And so since he's a cop, they're, in their mind, FBI bad investigates, uh, you know, high level elites. And we love the elites. We want we don't want the FBI to go after them. Cops beat up uh, poor people, middle class people, black people, brown people. We like that. Cops are good. Oh, wow, well, you know, so he's molesting an uh, underage girl. Come on. Blue Lives Matter. Thin blue line. It, don't prosecute him. Where are you guys? Why aren't you screaming bloody murder about this? Because you never mean anything you say. And so, look, this is it's absolutely outrageous to say. And if anyone else did what he did, they would be in massive. Imagine a dentist does it to a patient. Massive trouble. Massive. A construction guy does it to somebody walking by, right? A cop does it. They're like, well, he got fired. Isn't that enough? No, it's not enough. You don't get to break the law just because you're a cop. But they they genuinely think that way. They think they're a gang and that they're the most powerful gang. And then they can do anything they want and not be held accountable. And unfortunately, time after time, they're proven right. That guy is not going to go to jail. Uh, he's going to get away with it. And just to be clear, he should go to jail, <laughs> right? So, like, yeah, of course, he that's where he belongs. It's not even a it's not even a close question, guys. To, minus a look, cops get to do things that no one else does. It, I love this comment so much by one of our members in Uvalde. They said, "Put four hundred of any other profession outside that school, and they bum rush the school. Dentists, plumbers, accountants—it doesn't matter. They'll all go in. Teachers, nurses—they'll all go in to save the kids. The only profession that won't is cops, right?" Put any other profession and that, uh, that goes and finds a teenage girl, handcuffs her, and then gropes her, right? Lifts up her shirt and then gropes her, et cetera. You're going to go to jail. But if it's a cop, nope, nope. Well, I don't have to protect you, and I'm above the law. It's ridiculous. 